Here we're going to work on evaluating some variable expressions involving multiplication and division. Uh, so we'll begin here with m divided by negative x. And they ask us to put negative 48 in for m. That's fairly straightforward. Now we have to be a little more careful um, with the bottom. This negative here that goes along with x from the variable expression has to be right here. And the value they give us for x is negative 3. So I need to put negative 3 in where x is. So what we really have to make sure of is that not only do we have the negative from the negative 3 coming down, but we have the negative that's next to the x coming down as well. And so what we end up hit with here is uh, on the bottom, the opposite of negative 3. Now, of course, we know that the opposite of negative 3 is just 3. So now that simplifies to negative 48 divided by 3. So we know the answer is going to be negative. No problem there because it's a negative divided by a positive. Go ahead and do our long division. 3 goes into 4 once. We can subtract there and get a 1. Drop down the 8. 3 goes into 18 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. And so our answer is negative 16. In this next example, we have 5x times negative y. And remember, whenever a 5 is just next to an x, that means that we're multiplying. And so um, remember, I in, in a previous video, I gave the rule of thumb that when you're plugging negatives in for variables, you can never go wrong putting parentheses around them. Um, and I didn't do that up here with my negative 48, I realized, but it's because it was all by itself on top. But usually, that's something you want to do. And, and this is definitely a case where you need to make sure parentheses go around both the negative 12 and the negative 3 as you plug it in. So we have the 5. And then we're multiplying by x, and x is negative 12. So both to protect that negative symbol and to indicate multiplication, we're going to put that negative 12 in parentheses. Now again, we're going to have to be real careful here. These parentheses and this negative are all just coming from the variable expression. And I left a big open space for what y is. And so what is y? y is negative 3. It's this entire number. So I've got to put negative 3 in where y was. And now as I go to simplify before I do any multiplying, I realize that the opposite of negative 3, just like it was in the previous example, is positive 3. So I'll change this to 5 times negative 12 times positive 3. And then I'll just multiply. 5 times negative 12 is going to be a negative number. And it's going to give me 60. So I have negative 60 times 3. And because this ends in a 0, I don't really need to do any long multiplication. I can just say 3 times 6 is 18, and then add a 0. And of course, since it's a negative times a positive, the product will be negative.